In this video, I speed run a new Instagram page from zero to 1,000 followers. The followers need to be legit and I need to get at least 20% engagement. Everything else is on limits. And the time I'm aiming to beat is two weeks. And if I don't get 1,000 followers in two weeks, I have to give away $100 to one of you guys. Now the question is, will I be able to complete this challenge? But look, just before we continue, and I, I hate to be this guy, but I've just looked at my analytics and I've realized that only a small percentage of the people actually watching this video are subscribed. So if you end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing. It's free, you can always unsubscribe, and I will love you forever. Now enjoy the video. Day one, so this is where the journey all starts, and off the bat, I need to do three things. Now these three things is to decide what my page is gonna be about, actually create this this page, I mean finding a name, making a nice looking bio, profile picture, and then number three, I need to publish my first nine posts. So my thought process at the time was that I needed to create an Instagram theme page. Now look, in short, an Instagram theme page is literally just a page that focuses on one topic and repost content crediting the owners of it. But the reason I need to do an Instagram theme page is that I don't have time to master my own content style. And also reposting content allows me to see if something actually is decent and has viral potential without having to experiment on my own page. In terms of the niche I'm gonna be doing my theme page about, I decided to go with makeup slash beauty. Now look, the primary reason for this is because in the future, I wanna do a drop shipping challenge of this and makeup and beauty stuff is really easy to drop ship. But okay, after deciding upon the niche, I went looking for a name. Now typically with my names, I wanna make it look as non-spammy as I physically can. So this means no periods and no underscores. Now this took me about half an hour, but I finally came upon the name That Makeup Vibe. For my name, I just shortened the username, made it Makeup Vibe. Next I went on Google, found this image, boom, that's my new profile picture, and then came up with this bio over here. And the last thing I needed to do on day one was to find the content. So first thing, I'm only gonna be posting videos. Now my reasoning for this is I personally have found that videos do a lot better in the algorithm compared to picture posts. And look, I was really switched on to the fact that my first nine posts were very, very important because chances are, this was gonna be a lot of viewers first impression of my page. So I decided to use my own viral content strategy, which goes as follows. Simply find a hashtag that represents what you're posting on your page. Now on this hashtag, look through the posts and find an account that is doing very well. Then you're gonna wanna be picking the top 5% of performers on their page. So for the following few hours, I scoured across hashtags, hundreds of pages, and then I finally settled on these 20 posts that I felt had really good viral potential. So I copied their links, went straight to the repost app and reposted them straight to my page. You may be wondering what I did for the caption of each post. And literally, I just altered the existing caption and just added my own stuff and customized it so it was personal to my own page and there we go we have a clean looking page we've got some content we can repost in the following upcoming days and we've got our first nine posts so it's time for people to start stumbling into our page we can start driving traffic and getting our first couple followers so although I didn't originally intend to do this, I decided to follow my engagement strategy on day one because you know, I wanted to drive some traffic, see if my page was converting well, and then I could change things up if they weren't working too well. Now you may be wondering, what is this engagement strategy? Well, I'm gonna put it to you very simply right now. One, find a hashtag that represents your page and what you're posting again. Two, go on to the most recent post section. Three, go on like all of the posts you see. And then if a post has any likes on it, go on follow everybody that has liked that post. Typically, if you use those three steps and just use what I said, you should find very good results with your own theme page if obviously you are interested in running your own. Anyway, using this exact strategy, I went and liked 100 posts and went to follow 300 people. And from doing all of that, in a few hours, I got 64 followers, which puts my conversion rate at around 20%, which is crazy good. Everything about my page, what I'm doing is looking really good. So I decided to not change anything in that department. And after that, caught it a day, went to bed, didn't think about Instagram for the remainder of the day. Now this leads me on to day two. So look, before I even woke up, gained consciousness, I went on a following kill streak and followed around about 200 people. This actually gained us our first 100 followers. And at this point, I'm like, okay, this is looking good. We're one tenth of the way there. Two days down, it was looking really good. And we were on track to beat the two week mark. 
I'm not going to beat around the bush. The only thing I did change was that I started to post story posts and in which I just chose a portion of my new post, whacked it on my story, did a big text saying new post and uploaded it to my story. Simple as. And yeah, from now on, I decided to kind of like do a little bit of a daily summary slash vlog at the end of every day. So here is that for day two. So right now on our page, we're averaging around about 20 likes, which isn't too bad. I do need to post a little bit more though. My last post was one day ago. I reckon I could get 200 followers by the end of today so I'll see how it goes but that's gonna be my goal 200 followers by the end of today so in about 12 hours all right so it's approximately about 12 13 hours later and um I have some good news. We hit 200 followers, which is great. And we're now doubling our average amount of likes. I mean, and I mean, like in a day, this is what can happen, especially when you're starting out. I'm going to carry on doing what I'm doing and I'll check into you day two. Day three, I woke up much of the same stuff, which consisted of posting every four hours in the waking day, using the engagement strategy I previously discussed two separate times throughout the day until I got action blocked. The first session put us above 250 followers and the second session of the day put us above the 300 follower mark which put our daily total at 100 followers per day which is great and look we're gonna hit it in 10 days if we keep up with this rate but you see i was aware of something that was gonna be happening in the next couple of days and this one thing was gonna throw off our progress you see when you create a new instagram page you are able to follow 300 to 400 people every day before getting action blocked but when your Instagram page begins to mature, that gets shortened down to only 100 to 200 people per day. Which means we'll be reaching half of the people we was throughout these days. When that gets cut in half, so will our followers per day. And if my calculations are correct, that means we're not going to be able to beat the two week mark. And with this realization, I started to realize that this challenge was not going to be as easy as it first seemed. And we have just hit 300 followers. We're following another 500 people. I'm hoping it will speed up a little bit and I'll have to follow less people because 500 people a day is quite a substantial amount. So I'm hoping we can maybe decrease that and keeping the followers up. The strategy hasn't changed at all since I last checked in with you. So uh, let's keep it going and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so today was a little bit different. First of all, I woke up really late. So it was really hard to kind of follow people. Long story short, we're on about 370 followers we only followed around about 200 people today, which is a good ratio, to be honest. So I'm expecting when I wake up tomorrow, I'm gonna to be on around about 400 followers and we can work off from there. Now day five hit like a truck. And look, this is a me to you thing, being authentic with you at this point, I was actually considering just scrapping this video entirely. But yeah, you're wondering what it is, so here it is. The app I used to repost videos was just like, I don't really like you anymore and just decided to not work. I tried deleting this app, restarting my phone, even logging out of iTunes, doing literally anything in my power to try and reverse this thing, none of it worked. And quite obviously, this is a huge detriment to my posting volume, which decreased the amount of impressions we were getting from organic growth, such as hashtags and explore page. The thing I was also dreading happened on this day and Instagram just decided to cap my following to around about 150 people a day. And there seemed to be no quick fix solution for either problem. Oh, it's day five and I'm running into some really annoying issues. It's just been an absolute nightmare. So I managed to get one off. That was through downloading it from my computer and having to, you know, airdrop it to my phone and that. And I'm only on 400 followers, literally. But I mean, this is what happens. You have bad weeks, you have bad days. So hopefully we can smash tomorrow and I want to hit 500 followers soon. I thought I would have hit it today, but we only just reached 400. But tomorrow, something I'm going to be doing is going through a day-by-day -day tutorial. Hopefully, if the repost app works, and that should work pretty well. And I could show you literally exactly what I'm doing day-to-day -to, -day to maintain and grow this page. All right, so it's day six right now, and I decided to do just kind of a what I do in a day to maintain and grow my Instagram account. So the first thing I did is I needed to look for people to follow. So first thing is I went onto just my recent accounts. These are accounts that I found by going on a hashtag and just looking at the top performers, people who were doing really well. And I saw that one of these pages that post very similar content to me had just posted a post about 15 minutes ago. So what I decided to do is I decided to go on everybody that has liked it and follow all of 
followed them. I think right now we're on about 450 followers. I think we gained around about 40 followers overnight. What I need to do now is look for more posts. I'm gonna look for probably around six to eight. I normally like to look for my posts in bulk. All right, cool, so looking for stuff to post. I'm just looking at this account. It gets pretty high engagement. All right, 30K likes here, and they normally average about five to 10K. All right, so it's about two hours later. I've probably followed another 200 people, and we are on exactly 487 followers. Not too bad, that means we gained roughly around about 37 followers since the start of today, so it's looking good. But to get around this issue of the repost app not working, what I'm doing is I'm just finding my pages, and then copying this link up here, pasting it into an Instagram video downloader. I'm gonna have to download both of these videos now, and then I'm gonna airdrop it from my computer to my phone. This is really awkward to do, but it's here. Everyone sending. And there we go, ridiculously annoying and long way of getting around it, but it works and that's how I'm gonna be posting content until the repost app fix itself. All right, so it's later into the day right now. I'm gonna guess probably around seven, six hours after I recorded the last part. So I reposted from this page and normally they average around 5,000 likes and as you can see, it has got literally nearly half a million likes. So I was like, okay, yeah, this post is a banger. I need to repost it. I did exactly that. And in six hours time, it is my most viewed, liked, shared post ever. I'm excited and we have currently got just under 520 followers. So fingers crossed we can maybe hit 550, which will be great. Also, I need to post a story. That's something I really need to do as well. So let's get that done. Yes, we got another sweet spot. Look at this. So I'm just looking at my pages, which are basically just the ones I've got on top. I just check all of these every day. They posted 15 minutes ago. 200 people gonna follow absolutely every single one of these people. All right, so it's really late and I've just realized I haven't made one of these, it's like 1 a.m. But basically we're on about 584 followers, which is our most followed day. I think we started today at around mid to low 400. So we gained over about 150 followers today. And I've also had a post just like hit the algorithm pretty hard and we got 250 likes on that one post. And then a post I posted like five hours ago also has 150, so it's exciting times. So day seven was more or less the same stuff as day six. Nothing noticeable changed with the strategy or my growth in general, but we managed to really pull it back on this day because we went up 180 followers, which is actually our most followed day so far. The repost app still wasn't working at this point, so I had resorted to airdropping videos in bulk. At this point, my videos were getting maybe 200, 100, maybe even like 300 views a post. But one of my videos out of nowhere just suddenly popped off. And bearing in mind, 80% of the impressions were fresh eyes from the explore page. This was really, really good news. And we managed to gain around about 50 followers from this one post alone. All right, so I've actually lost track of the day at this point. I'm not sure if it's day eight or nine, but what I do know is we're approaching the end game because we were on about 790 followers right now. And I reckon in two more days, we're gonna be hitting the 1,000 follower mark. We're currently following around about 3.4 thousand people, which is actually not that bad considering, you know, 800 people are following me back. Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. So look, we're approaching the end game now. And on day nine, I had this kind of like epiphany moment. I just decided to randomly look through my posts and see which ones were doing well and if there was any similarities between the high performing posts. And that's when I realized the transformation videos where said person transformed into said character do like tenfold better than just somebody applying eyeliner for example. And this was a huge breakthrough. And at this point, I literally went and I deleted all the eyeliner videos because I'm like, okay, these just don't perform as well as the transformation videos. So yeah, I doubled down on it and I started seeing really, really good growth. I was getting videos hit 500 views in the first 12 hours, which bearing in mind is like over double what they would usually get. So on day 10, I knew this was the day I could possibly hit the one thousand follower mark and obviously this means we beat our target of two weeks so we win the challenge i got really lucky on the morning of this day because i was looking at my most recently viewed pages and i saw that a page literally identical to the stuff i post had just posted 20 minutes ago so i went and literally followed every single one of them that instagram would let me and on top of doing this i spent about half an hour just trying to be active in the community liking posts commenting on pages, doing all of that stuff. And I'm glad to say this, but in 10 days, I reached the 1,000 follower mark. And looking at my social blade analytics, 
I have averaged an above 20% engagement rate. So that's it. We beat the challenge. If you ended up enjoying this video or found any value in this video, I do have to ask you, please can you go down below, leave a like on this video. It takes you about a few seconds. It helps with the algorithm and trust me, it, it means I make more money and uh, I like money. That hasn't convinced you already, then I, I don't know what will.